Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back for a, another video here on a a Thursday night of all things. <laughs> kind of weird. Actually, no, what? It's Wednesday? No, it is Thursday. Sorry, I'm crazy. It's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday night, and I've set up the studio to film, which is kind of strange. Uh, but the main reason I did that is, well, selfishly, it's because this arrived. But really, it's because we have a lot of packages here. Um, we're going to open three from AliExpress and this. Um, there's also a huge box, like huge, from RR Parks, which has all of my Halloween cards in it, um, which you're going to... You're either going to hate or you're going to love them, but you're going to freak out either way because it's going to be just thousands and thousands of cards. It's insane what is going to be in that box. Um, but I'm not opening that in this video because that's going to be a whole thing on its own. Uh, but we're going to open these first. Uh, oops. Well, hopefully you can't read that. Uh, I, actually, I... Oh, let me put my watch in uh, theater mode. Yeah, I had someone comment that I, like, keep doxing myself because notifications appear on my watch or I'll flip a package over or something and it'll show my address. Uh, it's, you know, like, I'm using this uh, archivist thing to be a little bit anonymous but i'm not really anonymous like it's pretty easy to figure out who i am if you look around and, and if you've received a prize or traded with me you know exactly who i am because i gave you my address right uh so it's not that big of a deal to me uh you know please don't show up at my house unannounced i would give you a tour if you're nice but uh that would be super weird and awkward so like at least prepare what you're going to say when you knock on the door because it's going to be weird um Okay. Anyway, sorry. Let's get let's get back to back to what we're doing here. So we're opening some packages. Uh, this small one is a trade, and what I did is well, I actually Riley reached out to me. So uh, Riley Woodard is the person I was trading with. Uh, they reached out to me over comments and wanted to trade Spider-Man cards, and I have no intention of trying to complete Spider-Man. There's a couple sets I'm trying to complete, right? Like SCP some of the Chainsaw Man sets, uh, some of the Star Wars sets, those I'm really like trying to complete, but everything else I'm not. And so if you want to trade with me, even for high level cards, that's cool. Cause I, I have them, they're worth a lot of money or whatever, but I don't really care about them, right? So, uh, and so that's what happened here. So this person wanted some of my higher tier Spider-Man cards, uh, SEs, PRs, things like that. And so I traded off all of them to this person, about $120 worth of cards total. Uh, and I sent them insured and everything, because, you know, when you're sending that much value of cards, you want to be a little more careful than just sticking them in an envelope, which is what I usually do. Uh, sorry, Meow World person. I, I still haven't heard back from you. If you're watch, let me know. But anyway, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Riley. And so uh, in return, he gave me... Uh, some spider-man cards from the lower tiers so even though i'm not trying to complete the whole set it would be cool right to have a full set of urs right and so he gave me almost all the rest of the urs i think i'm missing like one ur now uh and he told me it's gonna help me trade to that too uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at what's in here and there's one other thing in here that's kind of special because if you think about it i gave him like 120 dollars worth of cards and he gave me a bunch of urs right like that's not equal at all uh, but he is a sketch artist, a sketch card artist specifically, and that's the main thing I wanted from Riley. Uh, so Riley, like I said, is a is sketch artist, so he has a private Instagram profile. I'll put it up here now, uh, and if you want to go check it out, uh, you will have to follow him in order to see what he's doing, but if you send him a follow, I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, here it is. Uh, so yeah, it's Woodard Riley. It's like his name backwards is his Instagram handle, but his real name is Riley Woodard. Uh, and cool dude. Talked to him for a long time online. Uh, we traded a bunch of cool pictures of stuff we had, a bunch of like bragging stuff. Uh, and then we settled on this trade. And so that's what you're seeing here. So we've got some CPs. These were CPs I was missing, two Venoms, which, you know, I love Venoms, so awesome. And then we've got some URs here. And these all are URs that I was missing, right? And then, uh, oh, 
two IPs that I was missing. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so that's the total Spider-Man cards he sent. But then, like I said, he's a sketch artist. And so I had him send me two of his sketch cards. <laughs> there. Like, this one he sent me, uh, I think, to be nice. I didn't actually ask for this one, although it's uh, pretty cool. I, I actually don't know now. Um, Riley, did you draw this just for me? Like, I think you might have. Uh, so this is a Thanos Venom, which is like my two favorite characters mixed together. So I don't know. If you drew this for me, that's amazing. Uh, I, I love it. This is, though, the one I wanted. So it's a Thanos, of course, in a Hawaii, Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> and so uh, you don't know me at all, but I've showed you my, my cat shirt once, but I wear Hawaiian shirts every day of the week. It's all I ever wear. Uh, so seeing Thanos in a Hawaiian shirt is amazing. And then with the green background like that, I think this is a very cool piece, like really well done uh, sketch, but also the design of it is great because the background is plain like that. That's cool because I can now commission Riley, uh, you know, pay him money or trade him more cards, whatever, and get more of these, right? Because I would love to have like a full set of Avengers in Hawaiian clothes, like Avengers on vacation, basically, you know, with a different co flat color background like that. And I think if I had them all on a page, they'd look cool or in a frame. So, uh, so yeah, these are sketch cards that Riley made, so drawn by him, right? Uh, unfortunately, he didn't sign them. It's too bad. you got to sign your work, rather, when you're famous someday. You're going to want to have done that. Um, but these are going to be secret Riley pieces. Uh, okay, <laughs> we've talked enough about those. Uh, but yeah, we got some great cards here, and awesome. It's always great to trade. I, I mean, they're called trading cards, right? Like, that's the whole point. So if you ever see something on here that you like or you collect the same set as me, you know, get in touch. You can go to the website. There's a contact page or just leave a comment. I'll reply to you. Uh, we'll, we'll get in touch and uh, we can set up a trade just like Riley did here. Awesome. All right, now let's get on to regular packages, sort of. <laughs> uh, this one's interesting because it's the first one that I've ever had examined. Right? So all of the packages that we order from AliExpress go through customs. And I've been doing this now about a year and getting like about three or four packages a week. So uh, I've gotten, you know, well over 200 packages. <laughs> like that's not a joke, well over 200. Uh, you can go watch the mail videos and count them up if you want. Uh, but yeah, well over 200. And they've all gone through customs, all of them, right? And they all look like this. They got the yellow tape and the white and they all pretty much look like this. Uh, and I, I don't know what customs thinks. I don't know what the mailman thinks. He keeps dropping like three of these off every week. He must think I'm crazy or something. Uh, I am crazy. That is true. Uh, but anyway, uh, but this was the first one that actually got uh, searched, which is pretty cool. So I, I this is weird because this package was part of an order that I opened maybe three weeks ago, and it just took a long, long time to get here. It took a long time to clear customs. That's why. <laughs> so uh, they opened this package, looked at what was inside of it, and then put this tape back on it uh, to close it back up. Now, I, I don't know if they'll have opened the actual boxes in here or anything, or if they'll have cut through the, you know, because this will have a bubble wrap inside of it. We're going to find out exactly how much they uh, examined. And looking at this package, I can kind of see why they picked this one of all the ones I've received. Most of the ones I receive are large rectangles or large squares, right? Because the boxes are rectangular and square. But in this one, there are two 30 yuan, 30 yuan uh, sets side by side. And so it's like two of those little boxes side by side. And so it, it becomes this kind of uh, conspicuously shaped package, let's just say. Uh, so if you've ever watched any crime drug movies, you know that heroin and coke get packed in pound bags, uh, 10 pound bags like this. Exactly this size and color and style and shape, like with the rounded corners and stuff. It looks like a bag of heroin, like a giant bag of heroin. And so, you know, I don't know what customs thinks, like, do they think someone would actually just send one over? <laughs> like, I'm sure someone tried, <laughs> but that's, uh, that seems really brave to me, uh, 
you know, they go through a lot of work to smuggle those in. They build, like, submarines and stuff to smuggle drugs into the U.S. So to think that someone would just up and send it <laughs> through the mail, that's kind of crazy. I don't know if they really thought that. Uh, but here we go. Oh, man, look. Oh, oh I, I think I showed the... Uh, I'm going to show my dress. But I stuck with that. So they did cut it for me. This is so cool. Uh, they didn't cut the outer wrap, though, which is nice of them. Uh, that just means I don't have to cut it now. <laughs> I wonder what they used. They must use a knife. That means I can just put this right out. That's great. Wonderful. All right, well, thank you, Border and Customs, for that. That was very nice of you. Uh, and so what do we have here? Two more card fun sets, and these are newer new sets. So about a two, two, well, they're about a month old now. But when I ordered them, they were brand new. <laughs> and uh, this one is just like the other one we have. So the other one we have focuses on what Zootopia cars, the little the good dinosaur, and Toy Story three, I think. And then this one focuses on the original Little Nemo, the second Monsters, Inc., and the second Incredibles. And it's going to be specific to that. It's not going to have the first Incredibles. It's going to have the second. And there's nothing with the first. So these are strange sets. I always get the two UN uh, box just so I have some. Uh, but otherwise, I don't really... These are not that fun to open. They're, they're very, like, basic cards. You'll see... The other one you saw, they're kind of boring. Uh, especially compared to the Disney 100 cars, which are just so much better. There's a brand new Mickey set out of those, too. I, I have one on the way, but uh, go, go check that out. Anyway, um, so that's what this is. And then this is something I... Uh, there's a lot. Okay, there are a lot of Disney princess sets out there. A lot of them. But most are made by Kmon. In fact, I think all are made by Kmon. And I never bought any because I kind of know what came on cards are, and I sort of didn't want a bunch of Disney Princess cards, and they all look kind of cheap and bad. Came on cards, right? This is by Card Fun, and it is a crazy set. A crazy set. You'll see all the different types that are in here. Uh, it's a massive, full size set, but with some very strange, some very strange card gimmicks which is the main reason I got it. So you can kind of see them here, but there are sticker sheet cards. So cards with stickers on them. Not The whole card isn't a sticker. There's like many little stickers on the card. And then you can take those stickers and put them on another card to sort of like dress up that character or that environment. Pretty cool, right? Uh, also, there are these notepad cards, which are just cards that you can use as a note card, right? I don't know why you do that, but um, you could. And then there's also um, numbered cards and signed cards in this set, which crazy. Not really signed, but like fake signatures and things. Uh, so yeah, kind of interested in this. It only comes in one and two yuan sets. So I got the two yuan set. Uh, if it's good, I'll buy you some more. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got there. And then another one. <laughs> We're not done yet. Like I said, there's a bunch of these. <laughs> And the reason I'm kind of filming this now is because, like, there's too many packages here, but also, um, I'm go ahead and leave that out. That is very cool. And also, that is very cool. All right. Yeah. So, anyway, sorry. Um, but you can see here, the package looks the same, right? But it's much thicker. So this doesn't look like heroin anymore. So it didn't get searched. Sorry. I, I don't actually know if that's why, but... Like, they searched the cheapest one, right? Like, it didn't even have waifu cards or anything. It just had Disney Princess cards. <laughs> like, the most innocent, uh, cheapest thing they could have searched. And again, that's out of literally hundreds of packages that have come through that port to this address. Like, I'm almost surprised I haven't gotten a visit from the IRS or somebody for, like, import duty rules. <laughs> Because I've ordered enough of this that, you know, you could convince yourself I'm running a store here. I'm not. Like, this, I keep all these cards. I trade them. I don't sell things. Uh, but I have enough here where you could think I'm running a store, right? And so if you're the IRS, you might be like, hey, wait a second. You need to pay import duties on all that stuff. 
Yeah, they wouldn't be wrong. Like that's probably illegal shipping. But uh, you know, that's a problem for another year. Oh, oh it was not started open. That was, that was messy. Sorry. Uh, this opened. This one came from Anime Card Store. You can tell because the packing is messy. But the other one did too. They just they don't pack as well as C1 Luxury Store. They pack pretty well. Like there's stuff that isn't completely broken the way like Goddess Store stores what is. But still, it's it's not quite as good. So. Anyway, uh, okay, so this should be, I think, the actual good boot set, I think. Oh my goodness. so noisy. Oh my god, you really can't even hear me. Um, okay, so yeah. I've been talking to a commenter for like months. He, he comments on all of my Bleach videos and he's like, you need to get the Kabog set. It's amazing. It's the best Bleach set. And so then I would go and buy the wrong set and I'd do another video and he'd comment, no, that's not the right one. Get the Kabog one. And I go get another wrong one. I've done this like four times. No joke. Like go look at the comments. Like four times we've done this. This is the actual Kabog set. It says here, Kabog Animation. It's by the same group that made, makes that incredible One Piece set that's also sold out. Uh, and so the, the reason this confuses me so much is that it translates here as Kabog Animation. And that's the word he was using. But the actual name of this is Gabago. And so that's why I like... I kept getting confused by which one I was supposed to buy. But anyway, I got this. And, you know, since he recommended it and said it was so good, I got two. And I figure what I'll do is I'll open one, and or I don't know which one I'll open, and I'll let the uh, other one be a prize. So one of these will be a prize. And I have one of the uh, One Piece boxes, too, saved as a prize for giveaways, right? So remember, we do giveaways on this channel every few hundred subscribers. We did one at 200 subscribers. We're going to do another one at 420 subscribers. And we're close. We're almost to 300. So, you know, like and subscribe uh, if you want a chance at winning these. And I'll run another giveaway. It'll be, it'll be awesome. Then this, I got this just because uh, I wanted one. Uh, so this is a Detective Conan. Now, uh, Detective Conan is a uh, very popular anime with many different series, tons of movies, lots of manga, been running forever, uh, and has lots and lots of trading card sets. I'm not joking. It has almost as many sets as like One Piece has. There's a lot of these. And I've never gotten one before. So again, been doing this for a year. We've looked at almost 300 different sets at this point. We've never looked at a Detective Conan set. So when I was doing an order, I was just like, okay, I have zero interest. I have, I have like zero interest in that property. I've watched a little bit. It's, I do not like that show. Uh, but I was like, I can't just keep ignoring this. I got to get one into the archives just so we have something. Uh, so I got the little frog one because I like little frog and, uh, you know, I like their stuff. And so we're going to open this and check it out. Uh, it's probably not going to be much. They're probably not great cards or anything, but... Uh, at least we'll have something from Detective Conan, so I don't feel completely neglecting uh, an entire property there. Okay. I got a little bit of a mess over here. All right. One more. One more. Uh, and if you guessed, you probably guessed right. This is C1 Luxury Store now. You can tell because they've started to use this, like, reflective white paper on there. It's on all their box, on all their packaging. And it's only they've been using it. It's weird stuff. It like sticks to the uh, 
I don't know, it's almost like a uh, cheaper material than the other one, but for some reason it's like sticky. It sticks to the, uh, to the bubble wrap. You gotta kind of like peel it off. You can. <laughs> like, see, it's sort of like melted into it. Kind of strange. Which, like, maybe it, it actually is melted because <laughs> uh, the ships that these come on are very hot on the inside. Well, they, they actually cycle between really hot and really cold. So, <laughs> effects like that are so good. All right, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna try to get into it through this side because I can't, I don't think I can open this whole thing. Uh, not entirely. Sh oh, I know. Sometimes I don't know what stuff is, but in this case, I think I do know what stuff is. Uh, that's a very big box. Very big. And that alone should tell you what it is. But there's only one set that makes such huge boxes. Uh, yeah, okay. There, we spit it out. That took a while. Uh, Alright. I already took the trash out to the food, like, to the curb, so I'm gonna have to, uh, do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, box all this up, or bag all this up and walk it out for again. The life of an arc. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna get more tomorrow. That's the main reason I did this video, is I'm worried tomorrow I'm going to get like three more shipments. Although, I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Maybe one. It's impossible to tell. It's literally like impossible to tell. The AliExpress shipping status page is constantly broken. Like it, it always just gives the wrong stuff. And then if you click into the actual tracking page, it might give you the right thing, but also it might not. And so it's very hard. Like, I'll have stuff listed as still being in China, and it'll show up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that wasn't in China. Well, you know, stuff will go through costumes and then sit there for a month. Uh, okay. <laughs> My goodness, this is very challenging to get open. I'm laughing because there's there's an entire roll of bubble wrap around this thing. It's insane. This is nuts. This is completely completely crazy. Full of crazy guys. And then and then this is here. And I gotta like. I hate it when they. I mean, I like it when they put the corners on like that. Oh, I got yeah, nice. Uh, but I hate. Hate, hate when I hate the boxes like this. This is just foam. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I didn't put like a metal card inside this or something for me. Sometimes it does. Like, like, all right, man. Gosh, that was a lot. Okay, here we are. Uh, oh, so speaking of the devil, this is what I was talking about. So I have the black version of this. This is the blue one. So the God, it looks better. Oh my God, it looks better. Endless treasure. I'm going to buy more of these. Uh, the black version of this, the latest one, sold out. You can't buy it anymore. I mean, there's a couple of shady vendors that have it listed. I wouldn't even try. I bet if you try to buy it, they're just going to rip you off. Uh, but all the main vendors, the black one is sold out. 
blue one is still available, uh, but it is about $31 a box. I paid $30 for this myself. Uh, worth it. Like, if you've watched the video where I ripped an entire box, absolutely bonkers amazing set. I don't know if this blue set is the same one or not. Uh, we're going to open this later and find out. But uh, I'm guessing it's the... F oh, okay, so that's this is the fourth. That one was the fifth. So it's probably the same, like, type of cards, but the earlier series maybe is this one. Uh, but you can see now that it's like Abog animation, right? The same group makes both of these box types. Right? Very cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, let's move on to... Oh. Another shape. <laughs> Sorry. I, this box is not the same shape as all of the others. <laughs> So this is the latest uh, 10 UN Transformers box, 10 UN here, by Kayo, and it's a completely new set again. So this is the third set. So if you remember, we had TF01, TF02, this is TF03. So this is the third set. The uh, Rise of the Beasts mini set with the 5 UN packs, uh, that's like a miniature mini set. It's kind of a side product. It doesn't count in the main lineup. Uh, this is the third in the main lineup and the latest. So this is brand new, like brand, brand, brand new. Just came out maybe like two, two less than two weeks ago. I got this pretty quickly. Uh, I'm pretty excited to open it. It's got that nice, uh, we got to rip this to get it open. This also should have a prize pack in it. Um, sorry, not a prize, a promo pack. I'm trying to see if it says so anywhere. <laughs> it doesn't really say anywhere. Oh, actually, it doesn't say that it does. It says there's 18 packs with five cards per pack. So maybe this doesn't have a promo. Well, we'll open it and find out. Uh, but yeah, that's another Transformers. Now I have four different Transformer sets by Kyle and one not by Kyle. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Oh! This has got a story, obviously. It's in this massive freaking box. This is the retail version of the 10 UN product. Uh, they will eventually also make a. Uh, they will eventually also make a online version of this box that will be much smaller, uh, but the same like the same packs, just in a way smaller box. This box is meant to be put in a, in a store. Also. Feels like it got beat the hell inside. But we got one promo here, so why don't we pop the promo and see what we got? Okay, it's probably a 3D card. Oh, we'll take a look. Uh, I will look at this off screen because if it's. Oh, I, I <laughs> violently uh, opening boxes and I broke a glove. Oh, well, we're almost done with the video. I, I'll have to look at this off screen, sorry. Oh, it's actually totally fine to show. Um, this is... Uh, oh yeah, this is a goddess story. NS1005PR. So this is a PR. And there you go. Licorice Recoil. So, like, a lot of people, you know, complain about the waifu cards, and they're like, oh, it's just fan service, you know, it's just naked ladies, everyone's just gawking at it. But that's not true. Like, it's art. There's a lot of art to these. Now, there are a lot of naked ladies, too. <laughs> but this, these, they've more, they've so, they have all the clothes on. Every piece of clothes you could think they have on. Like, it's just clothes, all clothes. There's no, there's barely any skin showing at all, right? And then there's a cute little snowman. It's like a cute, cute card. Not sexual at all. And, uh, and this is a PR from Goddess Story. So there's some innocence there. I like that. Anyways, nice looking card. Uh, and that, that came from C1 Luxury. Store. They are the ones sending promos with it. Uh, Goddess Story will sell you this box, but not with the promo. They sell it with a like a random 3D card. If you want the actual promo from the newest set, you got to order from C1 Luxury Store. And that's right. Okay, so 
there we go that's everything uh, i got a lot of cool stuff I've got some got some awesome sketch cards there which amazing love it i uh, got a pr here Put that right there we got some some more bleach cabal bleach we got endless treasures and then we got some smaller boxes conan uh disney and disney princesses Maybe I can put this right here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right. There's my uh, screenshot. So I always like to arrange a screenshot before I end the video. And that's what we'll do. Looks like I pulled this a little bit here. Sorry. There you go. He's on my bare desk. Um, okay. I'm going to stop the video here because I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I'm kind of always rambling. Let's not talk about that. Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to stop the video here. Uh, probably we'll do another one tomorrow with <laughs> even more packages. And then, yeah, over the weekend, we'll be tearing a lot of this stuff open. And the other, like, we have a lot that we got, yes, uh, earlier this week that we haven't looked at either yet. So there's a lot, a lot to look at. Um, but yeah, I really need to stop the video. Okay, I'm going to hit stop. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>